Now, the Met Office has issued a red weather warning for the southwest of England tomorrow as the second storm in three days is expected to bring winds of up to 100 miles an hour to parts of the UK. Thousands of homes are already without power with major disruption on roads and train lines after Storm Dudley hit last night. And on the way, Storm Eunice. Let's go live to Euston Station now and talk to Jake Kelly, the Group Director of Network Rail. Jake, thank you so much for talking to us. At the moment, what's the situation across the network? So overnight, colleagues have been working really hard to keep the railway open today. Tomorrow, the Met Office has issued severe weather warnings and we expect very significant disruption. So our advice for passengers who want to travel tomorrow is not to travel unless they absolutely have to. And if they have to, will there be trains running at all? We expect very, very significant disruption tomorrow, so, so that's why our strong advice is not to travel. Passengers can choose to travel today or on Saturday, and their tickets will, of course, be honoured. So how do they do that? Do they have to come to the station? They, they d d t t t turn up at about the time that they would expect to travel, and their tickets will be honoured. It's as simple as that. OK, and so tomorrow, if they do have to travel, how do they check what the situation is? So looking at the National Rail website uh, or looking on individual train operator websites will give us the best information possible. But as I say, that despite the huge efforts of thousands of people tomorrow to keep the railway open, we do expect it to be very, very significantly um, disrupted. What is the most damaging thing for trains? Is it those high winds or is it the rain? What is it exactly? Tomorrow we expect it to be uh, very, very strong winds indeed. Uh, it won't, of course, just be the railway that's affected, but, but, but uh, if, if, if trees fall, as we expect them to do, then of course we'll have to clean them away. We'll have thousands of people out with chainsaws cleaning them away, but inevitably uh, there's going to be disruption, sadly. So that's Storm Eunice. Um, Storm Dudley, obviously, yesterday. Things have calmed down just for a bit. How much damage was there following Storm Dudley? There was some damage and we had colleagues out overnight right across the country, particularly in Scotland, working really hard to clean it away, clean away the trees, put wires back up. We're really pleased that most of the railway was, was open today, but Friday is going to be different. Uh, as I say, our advice very strongly is not to travel. OK. Jake Kelly from Network Rail, thank you so much. Thank you.